Hello, hola, and bonjour, everybody. You already know who it is. It's Matthew from McCroy Bros Bodybuilding MB3. And today I'm here to talk about my training style as I've been talking in the last few videos. I've been doing a 5x5 five five, uh, method where I actually use the same amount of weight for all five reps and all five sets. And to tell you the truth, it's just plain boring. So, I'm going to change my uh, routine, kind of. I looked up different 5x5 five five programs, and I don't know if it's the true method of the 5x5, five five or if it's just a different method, but I found one where basically you find your one rep max, and I've never actually attempted a one rep max, really, at this stage in my lifting career or whatever, so there's different methods you can find for, find, for calculating one rep max by putting in, you know, how many reps you've done of a certain weight and I'll calculate it out approximately. So let's take bench press for example. I'm going to do this for all four that I've been showing you. Uh, bench press, overhead press, deadlift, squat. So bench press for example, I found my approximate one rep max is 270 pounds. So against approximation, but I mean it's very close. So uh, what you do is you plug that in the formula, and I'll show a chart here. This is an example of um, it's a 16-week program. What they do is um, you actually you change the weight each set. So you still have five sets of five, but you're not using the same weight. You're you're changing the amount of weight, which I think will really change up my workout. I'm just so used to using the same weight, it's getting really old and boring. And so you can see on like week one, I mean look at the, I've been doing about 215 pounds for five sets of five, so that's what I've been doing the whole time. And you see from week one, I mean you're starting at 145 pounds and working your way up to 200 pounds. That's all you do? I mean it seems ridiculous. I can do 15 more pounds than my last set for five sets of five. But what I'm learning from this powerlifting, I'm not a power lifter. I'm just transitioning uh, part of my workout style into powerlifting. And what I'm learning is that powerlifting uh, is heavily relied on um, is relying on resting times. Like you can see, week one you have that. Week two you up your weights a little. Week three you bring it back down to the same weights. And the importance of that I've made a video on it previously. It's just the importance of taking rest, especially when you're making new maxes. You cannot make a new max every week. So, and especially, it's not like once a week I'm doing a max. It's once a week for each lift, which is four times a week I'm trying to uh, use this program and increase the weight I'm using. So, uh, rest is very important and bring the weight back down. I see previous videos, some of you long-time subscribers may know I'm really against almost deload weeks, just as, that's my bodybuilding um, mindset, but transitioning into this powerlifting, uh, you know, you got to change it up. Not everything's the same. You're going to need that rest time. So anyway, that's my update on my lifts. I'm you now going to be using a 16-week program, and I'll, follow, I'll show you along uh, the way also of how the lifts are doing, just how, as I have in the past. So anyway, quick update. I hope you guys like the video. Speaking of that, you can go ahead and like the video. Throw it in a comment, deep subscribe. Remember, there's always one on the way, so stay tuned. It's kind of to show you guys a little behind the scenes of my day to day in contest prep. So, on to meal number one.